Hi everybody and welcome to Outdoor Ed with Mary. For this week's video, we're going to be talking about this white fluffy stuff falling from the sky. That's right, snow! So, what is snow made out of? Snow starts with clouds, which are made of water vapor. When the vapor cools to 32 degrees Fahrenheit, or 0 degrees Celsius, the vapor crystallizes. Just like rain, when the crystals are heavy enough, they fall to the earth. And we call these crystals snowflakes. And what about snowflakes? I've heard that every single snowflake is unique. Is that true? Believe it or not, yes, it's true. Every single snowflake is unique. Every snowflake has a different journey to the ground. And differences in temperature and moisture in the air cause the different patterns to form. So the snow is falling, the ground and trees are still covered in snow, and I thought, what a great day to go look for animal tracks. So let's go look for some. Let's start easy. Who do you think these tracks might be from? That's right, they're from my feet. What about these tracks? They might look familiar to some of you. Can you guess what they are? If you said a dog, you are right. We can see the foot pads and even the little doggy toenails going through the snow. What about these? Look like some kind of large bird. Swallow them. I wonder what kind of bird has a foot that big. Look how big. Who do you think left these tracks? It's a wild turkey. Okay, one last set of tracks for you to guess. I found these. Definitely tell it has some kind of claws on it. And it seems like maybe it was dragging something like a tail, so I wonder what it could be. Down the stairs. We can see that it was dragging a tail behind it. You can see that line in between each track. Okay, here we can really see the little fingers on these tracks. Who do you think left these tracks? It's a possum. Bye, friend. Okay, so I had an idea for an experiment I want to try. I've got some old fruit here, and I've also got a patch of snow that looks like it's not been touched yet by any tracks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this fruit out in the snow, and then tomorrow morning I can check it and see if there are any prints of animals who came to beasts. Ooh, what animal could resist this open, delicious banana smell or this old wrinkly apple smell? I hope that in this snow tomorrow morning, we'll find some tracks of some animals who came to check it out. All right, friends, so it's the next morning and the apple has pretty much been left alone, but the banana is halfway gone. And I think we've got some tracks. Who ate this banana last night? Look at these tracks. What do you think they are? Wait a second, let's back it up and listen for an animal sound. So it's the next morning. Hopefully you heard this bird in the background. So it's the next morning. The American crow. I happened to notice that there were several of them flying away from the area right as I approached to take my video. And I think they might have been the ones that ate the banana. Thanks for learning about snow with me this week, friends, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.